Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. How long do we have to live? How do we know whether today is our last day or tomorrow? What do we do in the meantime? How should we think? How should we process the fact that we are temporary and our numbers could call at any time? Let's talk about that. Good morning, family. Bishop Hall here. Oh, we got something big to talk about. I've just finished the service on a Sunday morning, so you can see me all dressed up. Looking real handsome and nice. Oh, my dimple showing. I'm looking real good. Amen. So, this I am just finished my live where we talk. We spoke about purpose and timing. Um, go on our last Facebook live to see if you can watch this. It is something else, I promise you. Or on the YouTube link and you will see it. All right. Now. Ha. Huh. Everybody, how long do we have to live? I don't know. Will we live till we pass a hundred? Or are we here for a short while? Whew. This is a major, 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 major topic. And um, I have a scripture for you. It is called, um, it, the scripture is in Psalms 90 verse 12. It says, see me turn my head a little because I have it over here. It says, um, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Lord of mercy. What does that actually mean? Teach me to number my days. Am I going to sit down and count my days, how much, how long I lived? No. It's not how long you lived, right? It is how long you have left. To live what are you gonna do within that time to fulfill your purpose this is a very sobering thing and something very strong to talk about at this particular time I am not telling the run go they're gonna take out insurance and the, all of that because you're soon dead and all of that I don't want that fear to be upon you but this is a time to think about our own mortality we'll not be here forever one, the coming of the Lord can come. And two, our journey can be finished and we are gone. And we don't know when our journey will be finished. A lot of folks believe that living long is fulfilling your journey. And I'm saying no. Most of the people who change the world never even reach 50 years old. You understand? Martin Luther. You understand? People like Bob Marley never even reach 40. You know, all of these people, Napoleon, all the great people never actually live long. What about Jesus? Mm -hmm. 33 and a half, gone. But we still can't stop talking about him. He shook the world in the time he had. Hey, and I believe in my heart that I'm going to shake the world with the time I have talking to you no i'm shaking the world because i'm preaching and teaching an unorthodox message i'm talking about forgiveness and love i've taken on the toughest toughest topic because we have bishops and apostles who don't want to forgive loaded with bitterness in court right now suing people for defer Def, defer, defamation of character so you bex because people say bad things about you them call jesus wine bibber they call him illegitimate them call him not just demon them call him satan they said they call you cast demons out by the prince of Prince of uh, uh, you call Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies, you are demon, you are Satan, cousin. Jesus not care nobody into court to protect his name. His name is still the same. I don't have to fight for my name. 
my name don't have to be good because his name no no calm down you see become a just finish um the, the, the service me charged so i have to fight hard enough to chop to rubber shock kind of the day here okay his name is the name that is important amen and uh, you don't have to go to court and fight for defamation of character i can't even call the words them good so forgive me if me not call it right you understand the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade upon your right hand there are some folks who refuse to take the christian path they refuse to take the humble road they are flying high there are gods in the earth you dare not say anything negative about them brethren if they call the master of the house Beelzebub, what are they going to call his children? You yeah, act like your name better than Jesus' one. Your name can't cure cancer. Your name can't do nothing. But his name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Don't talk. Your name, Chuma. You look, you have one. You just have one name with them gear. But God has given him a name. Hey, boy, that is above every other name. And at the name of Jesus, everything of a job flat. Amen. John said, When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. So it's not your job to protect your name. And a quarter fight over who say him say she say. Leave that alone. And just keep doing what you have to do. Your time too short to run down to find out who did say what. And you play investigation to find out who said what. You turn Pat Matlock and Perry Mason and Jessica. And you turn um, all of these investigators out there. What are you doing? You're wasting time. Time now is fleeting. The moments are passing. Listen, you have no responsibility for what people say about you and what people think about you. That is not your job. Your job is to focus on what he thinks about you. Make your calling and your election sure. When you stand up under the light of God, Make sure your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and make sure that you are doing things with the right motives. Not just action, but doing it with the right heart. Amen? Don't just give to show off. Give to please God. Not going to hold you long. We have a short time. David says, Psalms 90 verse 12. Teach me to number my days. Teach me to remember that I'm not going to be here for too long. Teach me to love when I can. Be kind when I can. Do something to help out my fellow man when I can. Because there is going to come a time when the sun set on my life. And I won't be able to do it anymore. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you. May God bless you. And I hope this will cause everyone to take stock. Check your days that you spend and check what's left before you. And tomorrow, we do not know what tomorrow brings. So live life like today is the last one. Worship today like it's the last day. I love you. May God bless you. And tomorrow we'll talk. God bless.